if you want. Baby. So, I've been reliably informed that if you wrap a quilt cover around you, probably all the way around you, to be fair, because we're literally talking into a massive open space, <laughs> the quilt cover's actually just around us and behind us. Um, the audio should be much better. Are you convinced? Yeah. Why? So we're sat in Blake's tent with our quilt cover wrapped around it, hoping that it's going to give us better audio. Yeah, you really need to see this. Go over to the YouTube channel if you're not. If you're it's on only going out on YouTube. I'm ah. not putting audio only out. Oh, okay. It's pointless, in it, really? Okay. Cut that bit out, then. <laughs> well, I can't, because I'm hoping to do this in just one go, because I can't oh. be bothered to edit this <laughs> as well. So, welcome. Welcome back to David and Danetta. I'm David. And I'm Danetta. We haven't said that for Hello. ages. We need to start it again. No. <laughs> what we've decided is we're currently, what date is it? It's like 20th of January. 2021 if you're watching this in the future we're currently in a national lockdown we're going to be in lockdown till about mid-february so we've probably got another month to go another four weeks ish to go so we decided we'd get back together the david and danetta content and we dish out several episodes of like a 20 minute conversation like the a video podcast that that's it um will they all come to you from a one-year-old's tent with a quilt cover wrapped around it. Absolutely not. Definitely not because I am absolutely red hot. This one is not it's hot in it. I've got. I've even got things on my ears. Look, what's going on? But listen, this is heavy. that's the comedy aspect out of the way. <laughs> in the next episode, we'll probably just be side kitchen table. Yeah. Unless we do idea. one front wardrobe, that'd be quite good. I've heard mm. proper like professional voice actor. Coaches, voiceover, um, voice actor coaches, I don't know what I'm on about, that's how what I am, um, you know, voice <laughs> actors, I've heard that they do stuff, because it's been locked down and stuff, and like animated movies can still be done. Yeah, but they're, been not, sat in they're, like, not, they're on their own, I'm, I'm guessing, like they're not with somebody else yeah, in the wardrobe. So, topics for today then, first one I thought, while I've got you, because this is going out on my channel, Yep. while I've got you, what's it like daily vlogging? It's good, I like it. <laughs> so next question. No, right. What's it really What's like? What's it really like? I'm I keep getting my head stuck on there. Just talk. No, I really, really like it. It is fun and for me it's good because personally it keeps me doing something because it's just difficult. Like, well, what would you be doing if you weren't daily vlogging? Well, no. I mean, it keeps my mind occupied on other things other than looking after the kids. Do you know what I mean? It gives me yeah. something else to do. So, because if I sit for too long, <laughs> This whole scenario is just ridiculous. I'm sat looking at you <laughs> in the tent from here. Sorry, carry on. It's <laughs> <laughs> stupid. <laughs> No, as you know, I get like anxieties and health anxiety and stuff. We'll not go into that. But anyway, if I sit for too long, that's what makes me worse and dwell on stuff. Whereas if I've got something to do all the time whilst looking after the kids, it kind of helps with that. So it does, it helps. Like, do you know what I mean? How long's your nose ring been out for? Are you even listening to me? Yeah. It's just because you're so close. We're never usually this close together. That doesn't sound good at all, does it? No, no. What? So you think generally in a normal day I'm like this, staring into your Bloody face? Hat. I know, it's just about the branding. No, it's been out absolutely... You know it came out. It came out ages ago when I had me. Right, my sorry. Eye. So so daily vlogging actually helps your mental health. And being in lockdown, like struggling yeah, with stuff like health anxiety just in the normal world before COVID. Yeah, anyway. I mean, that, that, and then being locked down at yeah. home yeah, with it, with... A deadly virus <laughs> knocking about. Yeah, no, to be fair, that doesn't affect my health anxiety, COVID. That's something you can kind of control well, in my just, mind. You just don't go out, so no, you've no chance every, of getting it. Well, everybody else does. Yeah. But no, yeah, so it does, it helps. And because I'm daily vlogging, it also creates memories, so it helps, like, just in every way. 
What's bad I mean. about it? And also, hang on, what's good about it, it makes you get up and get ready straight away because... I think you find if you if you've not got anywhere to go and you just stay in your jammers till dinner time, shut up. <laughs> no, no, no. To be, you know, go on. Um, yeah, it just gives you that extra motivation to like get up, get ready, just to to do something like you're going to work. Because I've always gone to work, and like now I'm not. Yeah, is it? I just can't get over this situation. Still, honestly, well, I'm glad it's us, going out video. You made us sitting here. Mm, I know. I'm sorry. We all make mistakes and bad, bad things. But yeah, but like, yeah, because some people will be like, like, there's got to be times where you're like, oh fuck, God, I just want to wear the same as I wore yesterday. I can't. Well, be I arsed. did, I do. I still can't. I still can't be. <laughs> I don't I care if I'm on video. I'm still a scrubber. Yeah, yeah. I did the other day. I don't brush my hair half at time. <laughs> Real life. Yeah, that's it. I suppose because you're doing an authentic vlog and the aim of the vlog really is to make videos for us to watch back as a family, yeah. it don't really matter about all that other stuff. What about me looking like a tramp? <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, but you're not like, you know, trying to impress some makeup or beauty fashion brand to oh, yeah. take over the channel and all that yeah. shite, are you? No. No. So, what, how but, long are you going to carry on daily vlogging? I don't know, for the foreseeable, while ever I'm motivated to do it. It's the longest I've ever seen you stick to anything. Yeah. Ever. Yeah, I'm really enjoying it. Apart from like our marriage, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> I mean, the, the, they are negatives. Like, sometimes you just cannot be bothered. Like, and you just think, I'm not going to, I can't be asked to pick camera up. But, but because they're authentic vlogs. Yeah, I'm not thinking about I need to do something all the time in the vlogs. Like, Vlogmas were difficult. Uh, in the middle of Vlogmas, that's when I found it hard because I was having to find, like, Christmas content within it. Mm. Whereas just doing a daily vlog, I'm just daily vlogging, whether it's boring, whether it's not. And I'm just doing it yeah. regardless. Right, enough of that then. Okay. Next section that I've got is, what we've been watching? Because I thought that might be interesting to some people, obviously. I don't want to keep mentioning lockdown and stuff, but everyone's looking for something to watch, something to set their mind off things. Mm -hmm. What uh, I've been watching, I, I'm i going to put it out there straight away and I know you're going to be like, oh, you say that. We have not watched anything that has been an absolute banger for ages. I We've just watched a load of good stuff. I always forget what we watch. Because we watch that much stuff, I always forget and I can't remember what we've been watching. At the minute, we're watching The Sinner on Netflix. There's three seasons yeah. I'm, I'm I'm enjoying it. It's all right. It's but good. It's not There's amazing. bits of it that are proper weird. There's bits of it that I think Very are completely weird. unnecessary. Mm -hmm. But the the kind of the this general theme of it all is is quite good, and mm -hmm. I like it because there's three seasons to it. I think they've got eight episodes each. Yeah, they're all about a different person that has or has not committed a crime but so they're all different so it's three completely separate stories however the detective that's looking at them is the same detective yeah. so you follow his story along and like episode uh, sorry season two relates to episode one in terms of like now and again they mention stuff from it so yeah. and it's all right so sinner if i had to say out of 10 how much do you recommend this lot watching watch it I'm going to say, say seven. seven. Yeah. Oh, that's fair then, because we both said that at the same time. We were also watching, uh, I want to say Unraveled, but it's not Unraveled. <laughs> Undoing. Undoing. <laughs> that's <laughs> Un the right name, Unraveled. Unraveled. <laughs> Undoing. Now, we watched it because it's got Hugh Grant and... I love Hugh Grant. What's, what's her face? Nicole, Nicole Kidman. Nicole Kidman. And again, a, a solid six pushing on to a seven, I'd say. No more than a seven. No, in fact, I, it isn't as good as Sinner. Six and a half at best. No, I'll go seven or maybe eight. I don't know. I love Hugh Grant. I don't like him in that. Shh, don't give it away. All right, sorry. No spoilers. What else have we been watching? So there's two things that you can watch. The Undoing. Uh, what's the other one? <laughs> Sinner. We've been watching something else. Yeah, but neither of us can remember. This is what I'm saying. When we were watching things Sons like... Of we watched Lucifer... Lucifer, we finished amazing. watching Lucifer. If you've not watched Lucifer, you need to watch Lucifer. That's very good. See, Lucifer's a nine. Yeah, yeah. Easy, all day long. But it can't be a ten because Sons of Anarchy, Originals, 
they're tens. Absolute tens. What do you think about us watching something like Vikings? Or what else is popular? We've never watched Vikings. We've never watched Walking Dead. We've never watched... We tried to watch Walking Dead. What's that other one? Winter's Coming and all that nonsense. I've not even heard of that one. You have. That's what they say. What's that new one that's out that everyone's talking about beginning with a B? Bollocks. Beginning with a B. Oh, you're on about that oldie, worldie. Yeah. Like, lardy da queen stuff. Bridgetown or something. Is it? Yeah, we haven't seen that either. So this section is a bust, really, because we haven't seen the stuff that's mega popular. And We've I can't just watched remember. a load of shite that in. I can't remember even where it is. There is a couple more. I'm sure there. it's that Bridgetown or whatever, isn't it? What's the next section that we've got? This is riveting content brought to you from a glamorous location. Just a quick word to our sponsors. My work, because we're using all this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> um... Right, here's another one while I've got you, what people are dying to know. Your honest opinion on Veganuary. Is it Veganuary? Veganuary. Veganuary. Right, so you're, what, 20 days into it? Yeah. Come on. It's a load of shite. Is the food rank? Are you enjoying it? I'm really enjoying it. Really enjoying it. I had a setback yesterday. When you had runs. I never had the runs. No, you Jesus didn't. <laughs> I had belly ache and my belly were really bloated and just really coddly and it was awful. I could tell I felt ill. I felt sick. And it had been coming, I think, for a day or two. Like, I just felt a bit icky. And do you put that down to the vegan diet? Well, I don't know because I know I'm in a couple of groups on Facebook and in the beginning, in the first week or so, everybody was saying about this dodgy tummy they were having and and stuff and people getting headaches as well and i was fine when i was flying i thought yeah. it were amazing and then like i mean 19 days in yesterday like why would it have happened then unless i did poison myself with something else or it was just a 12 hour bug or it could have been anything really couldn't it but what i'm saying is that's knocked me a little bit now if i'm honest like i was loving it up to then i were all up for it i'm like yeah this is easy because i've found it like strangely easy as well yeah and now i don't know why it's just made me think oh god i don't know why why do i feel like that i've no idea we've just gone off mushrooms i thought i did have some mushrooms that have been in the fridge for a while well maybe it's that then but so right then what sort of things you've been enjoying so if someone now's going do you know what i'm gonna jump on i'm gonna be a vegan for a little bit can you name like i don't know a top three vegan foods that you've had that you really uh, enjoy if you want in an alternative milk which you probably will my favorite is oat milk i don't like soy milk that's gross um oat milk oatly barista for your coffees and just normal oats or you can use that one in your cereal um there's a bacon and what's it called this this is not bacon that's literally what, that it's what it's called. called. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is, yeah. And yeah. it definitely in, I can tell you that right now. No, that's quite... But that's what I had with the mushrooms before I fell ill. Don't have it again. So then. I'm worried that it was that. We can't, can't get into trouble that. for that, can we? It can't have been that because I've had that loads of times before. Um, what else? There's been some nice stuff. Oh, Chocolate. The, the pizza, the Asda pizza, <laughs> the Mediterranean yeah, chocolate, there's loads of like no more and stuff. You see, where it is, what I've been doing is I've just done vegan. A lot of people in these groups have done vegan and then they've decided to do a health kick as well. So they're doing like two really big, like, yeah, it's hard enough to go changes. on a diet anyway. Yeah. So if we I are mean, then changing from yeah. being a meat eater to vegan diet. Yeah. So I think people were getting like a lot of headaches and stuff because like they've they've been also been cutting out all the treats and stuff as well as doing vegan. So I haven't. I have literally been it's been a bit junk foody vegan. But I don't care. <laughs> like that's still vegan. Yeah, exactly. So I've not been missing out on chocolate. So how come you put uh, ve- they say like a plant based diet mm. Usually, like, really good for you and all that type of stuff and make sure you lose weight and stuff. How come you've put it on then, V? I haven't. <laughs> no, I want to get it. No, I don't Did know. I don't weigh you, myself. You're eating all the chocolate. It's like, yeah, I'm on a vegan diet. It's just all vegan chocolate. <laughs> That's all it is. 
It's vegan bacon, vegan chocolate. I might go on a full on just normal bacon and chocolate diet and see what how that goes. Oh, we're gonna say something about that. Oh yeah, cheese. Ugh. Oh, Ugh. Is that what Kira made me smell? That block of cheese. What that was, was that? the worst thing I have ever smelled. Right, and that was meant life. to be the nicest one. Right, it's definitely not. So I've tried some of this vegan stuff. Yeah. You some of it, it, some of it, all right. But a lot of it, the sausages, I'm not having it. I hear people say this all the time about them. So is it the Richmond ones? We haven't actually had them yet this time. We had them when I was trying to oh, trick you. The yeah, other we've one. had them before though. And I didn't necessarily think, oh my God, these are them vegan sausages. But I did think, oh my God, these are shite cheap sausages. <laughs> and... Oh, it just is. No, where is it? It's, it's not the same. But then I suppose most vegans aren't doing it because they're just trying a new no. diet. And stuff. They're doing it for far bigger, more important well, reasons than what either of us are doing it for. And, well, I don't know. But you're expecting them to taste like normal sausages. You need to wait. Like, apparently, mm. like your palate will change and you'll get used to certain yeah. stuff. So if you force yourself to eat shite long sure, enough you'll like just nothing. like it no it's right though isn't it because like when i were a kid if we were skin and stuff i got used to eating loads of plain food and that's probably why i'm such a plain well it's now. like sugar in your tea if you take sugar in your tea and then you stop it tastes gross but then after a while you, it tastes better and then you try and put sugar in your tea again and you can't because it's mm. disgusting what do you think you'll do come first of february i don't know i, I really big don't. mac from mcdonald's <laughs> no <laughs> I don't know. Oh, we're gonna say some. Oh, can I just go back to like when I had belly ache as well? Yeah. Do you think it could have been? I've we've had some Hello Fresh deliveries recently that I didn't uh. order, and I I've said on my vlog and everything that the four or five vegetarian meals not vegan because I didn't choose them. They just turned up because I didn't cancel it, and I did have in two days running up to. Me getting belly ache. I had two meals with some dairy in. So, do you think it could have been because my stomach has been getting used to vegan stuff? That so like we've, the dairy. We've only I been recording know. for about seventeen minutes. This is not bacon's been thrown under bus. Hello, pressure's been thrown under mm. bus. One of you lots giving my wife belly ache. <laughs> I just thought it could have been that. Possibly, it could be anything. Like you say, it could have just been a little bug that you had or whatever, because yeah. it only lasted for like an evening. Yeah. Anyway, enough of that now. Yeah, enough of the, the vegan stuff. Um, so, last bit then. I can't remember what it is. Any targets for 2021? Whether that be personal or any professional Do life. you think that it still feels like 2020 and like when people say last year, I still think it was 2019? I don't think anybody is going to be able to move on until... All this COVID stuff starts, lockdowns, tears. Because I can't get my head around 2020's gone and we're in 2021 and it still feels like yeah, it does. 2019. And it's like... And I don't just mean normal New Year stuff that you kind of forget. It just genuinely feels like it should still be 2019 last year. 2020. No, I feel like it should be 2019 last oh, year. Oh, because we've completely just missed it. Yeah. Yeah, no, I, I do get, I do sometimes look at the date, like if I'm looking at some oh. emails and documents, stuff like that, and I see 2021 and I'm like, how did we get here then? Have we, yeah. have we got to 2021? I'm not quite sure. But yeah, it does feel like we missed a year. But do you know all this COVID stuff? So we're in lockdown, we're in tears, we're wearing masks, we're social distancing, we're not being able to see family and all that type of stuff. Mm. It does feel a bit like it, it, it actually, it surprises me that it doesn't surprise me how we adapt, how humans oh, adapt. No, it's a bit gotcha. like, you know, and also my main point that I was rambling on about because I'd forgot is, you know, <laughs> when you don't have a baby, like you haven't got a kid and then you've got a kid and then literally a week into having a kid, you're like, I actually can't remember what life was like not mm. having a kid. Yeah. I can't now remember what life was actually like being able to just... I mean, obviously, I've got memories because it was 33 of my 34 years life. Mm. But do you know what I mean? It, it almost feels like I don't really... I can't get my mind into the frame of I can just go out and I don't yeah. have to worry about having a mask. If someone bumps into me in shop or whatever... Like, it's matter. cool, it's fine, it don't matter. You're not looking out for people going, why aren't they wearing a fucking mask? 
Like, I can't remember what that were like, can you? No, no, it's doing my head in now, though, a bit. Like, I'm really, really sick of it now. I mean, I'm a homebody. I love being at home and stuff, but, like, I just want to go out. I just want to go out. It's different when you're at home because you're choosing to be at home. But when you're at home because you're told you've got to stay at home. I just want to go out, just go shopping, go for a coffee, have a cake, and do some more shopping, and just do what I want. Yeah. What I want to do. Yeah, I Sick agree. Of it now. So back to the original question I asked yeah. ten minutes ago. What's um targets? Any targets twenty twenty one? I want to get to two thousand subscribers on my YouTube channel. Right. And I want to get Make monetized. And you want to get what? Monetized. Yeah. How much money do you think we'll make from that? Can I swear? Yeah. Fuck all. <laughs> <laughs> right. I don't so. swear on my channel, you see. <laughs> You're like, oh, I'm over here now. <laughs> Fuck shit, my legs. <laughs> <laughs> right, so... Um, Look. Right, yeah, so you're not far off, are you? So you've got to, you have to have a fat, for you that don't know, you've got to have a thousand subscribers and 4,000 hours of watch time within the last 12 months. I'm not saying it again, you'll have to rewind and listen to that to let it sink in. But you've got 1,300 and you're on nearly 3,200. So you only need 800 more That's, minutes watch time. They've gone up, like they stayed the same, the watch time. We've, like the subscribers have been like that for ages but the watch time i'm really struggling with but it has gone up a lot recently and i think it's due to obviously i'm daily vlogging so Mm. hopefully i should be able to get that up a lot quicker than what i have been doing yeah balls to quality just do quantity yeah just absolutely smash it out like i've been doing yeah um so yeah i want to do that and then i also want to get to two thousand subscribers is youtube your only goals for 2021 No. Okay. But, but I don't really want to say too much yet because someone might pinch my idea. I've right. got a small business idea. Oh. <laughs> I can't do that. You've yeah. got a fringe. No one can tell what you're doing. God, I've got shit eyebrows. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so cool. My goals, what are my goals? My goals are to finally execute on the ideas that I've had for so many i've had lots of ideas for lots of years Mm -hmm. and then in the position i'm in now job wise i'm actually in a position to start executing some of them at a decent rate so things like taking over our entire town doncaster with a podcast Mm -hmm. that's actually happening as we speak well, not quite as we speak, but just, just stuff ready to go. We're ready to hit go on that. P- building a podcast studio, that's going to be incredible. So focusing on like executing that type of stuff and doing some like community stuff, which is on pause at the minute, but I've got loads of ideas yeah. to help like local and young people and stuff. Can you imagine if this hadn't have happened? Like you'd have been so further on with all that, even like now. When I know, I know. All right, no need to depress me. <laughs> oh, hell, Jesus Christ. I would have, yeah, yeah. I'd have, I'd have made it by now. But no, um, in terms of like hobbies and stuff now, it's quite good because before I was pressured to to get brand deals and do mm-hmm. stuff with a blog, with a YouTube, with Instagram, with all the types of stuff. And to be fair, we did all right. We had a good run at it. But now like I can do it just as like this now. Yeah. This is just because we want to. Yeah. And it don't matter. And I think that'll probably work better for us. Yeah. And that's same with mine, to be fair, as well. Like with the YouTube, because I took over that one. Like, it is just for fun. I mean, I, I, I would, like I said, my goal is to get to this and get this much watch time, but I think you'd still need to have personal goals, even whether you're doing it for fun or not, because mm. it's just a target to get The to. only problem I have with goals, though, is we always had a target of it in 1,000 subscribers on our YouTube channel, and as mm. soon as we hit 1,000 subscribers, I were kind of like, done that, what now? And, that's, and I really went off the boil with it, so yeah. I were a bit worried. It were a bit like, you know... Tyson Fury, he's got, he's won all of the belts. He's, he's finally done his dream, and then he were like, "Oh, does, I ain't got no to chase for now. I'm not bothered because mm. I was never really bothered about going for ten thousand, hundred thousand, a million subscribers and stuff." But yeah, I don't know. For me, my targets would be, like I say, executing stuff at work, and if I had to have some outside of work targets, probably try and grow my Instagram. I really like the idea of YouTube, but YouTube just takes so much bloody. I work. don't like Instagram anymore. 
No, you don't like Instagram. I don't. I don't like. To it. be fair, I only really want to grow that because I, I just Instagram's where I can go and I know I've got loads of people to talk to. I am. I've got all the pugs. Yeah, because your account got deleted. It's not deleted. It's still there, but I can't get in it because Instagram is in my bed. Yeah, and I fell out of it. What? So YouTube's your main, 100%. your hundred percent focus. But I need to get to ten thousand subscribers actually, so I can story over there. Yeah. Because Ten thousand YouTube subscribers, you could do some real damage with that. And you can story. I don't like. I don't like doing art on Instagram anymore. I need to get my mojo back on that a bit. I think. But do you know what I'd love to do? It's not a target that I've got, and I know I've said this several times before. I'd love to daily vlog for an entire year. Yeah. I just want it's something that still niggles away at me now, mm. but I know that if I, if I. I don't know. There's a lot of things that have to happen for me to be able to go for it. And at the and, minute... Yeah, and it's oh. one thing, vlogging. It's the next thing, having to edit it and stuff as well, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. There's so much work goes into YouTube and videos and all the rest of it. But anyway, I reckon that's it. We wrap this up. We've been going for about 26 minutes. I'm not going to edit none of this crap out because I just can't be bothered. We're just doing this for fun. We're going to try and knock as many of these out as we can during this um, UK national lockdown period. So up until like the middle of February, we'll see what happens after that. We just want to do it as a bit of fun, just something different for us to do together, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. Because the stuff we've been watching on Netflix is shite. Do these work? Can I press one? Yeah, yeah, press one. There you go. Well, that's boring. Can they <laughs> hear this? Yeah, yeah. Stop it because that goes on for ages. <laughs> These on this channel have already been through all this. We're naming us in a bit. You're giving us a clap. I think we end it there. <laughs> See you in the next one. Bye. Jesus. Come over to my channel. Mum V World Vlogs. I'm not doing it in this tent again. No. I, am re- I am sweating my Mic drop.